unidentified masked men snatched the leading Belarusian opposition figure, Maria Kolsnikova, from the street in the center of the capital, Minsk, on Monday, and drove her away in a minivan, witnesses told local media. Kolsnikova's press aide, Rodnikov, confirmed her abduction but vanished himself around 40 minutes later, it reported. Her Coordination Council colleagues who have disappeared include Anton Rodnikov, Ivan Kravtsov, and Maxim Bogoritsov. Her press team is also missing. This is the creepiest part, people confirming that they cannot find their colleagues and then disappearing themselves shortly afterwards. They're just going to abduct everyone they can, they don't care anymore. I just listened last week to an interview with Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, the candidate that Maria Kolsnikova was supporting. Svetlana is an English teacher and translator with no political experience. She decided to run for president because her husband was jailed when he tried to run for office. She had no expectations of success. State-run media allowed her no airtime, no campaign voice, yet the people came together to support her. Her campaign was unpretentious. Simply to restructure and hold a fair election under her term. What does the current iteration of the KGB call itself? What does Svyaz mean? The van was reported as having that wrote on it. That's hella threatening. How can this not be a proof for other countries to give attention for what's happening in Belarus? Holy shit, it's sincerely scary. Will she like, disappear forever? Damn people, I can't believe this kind of shit can happen. Wow Belarus is well on its way to a violent civil war. This is the best TL, DR I could make, original, https colon slash slash www. Thank you Ardian. Com slash world slash 2020 slash sep slash 07 slash Belarus opposition leader Maria Kolsnikova snatched from street in Minsk reports, reduced by 82%. I'm a bot. Unidentified masked men snatched the leading Belarusian opposition figure, Maria Kolsnikova, from the street in the center of the capital, Minsk, on Monday, and drove her away in a minivan, witnesses told local media. Kolsnikova had joined forces with the opposition presidential candidate Tikhanovskaya who later fled to Lithuania, and with Veronika Tsepkalo, who has also since left the country. Kolsnikova had announced on August 31 that she was forming a new political party, together, with the team of jailed opposition figure Viktor Babariko with whom she had previously worked. Extended Summary, http colon slash slash np. Reddit. com slash r slash auditaldra slash comments slash io 67 dw slash unidentified underscore masked underscore men underscore snatched underscore the underscore leading slash FAQ, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit. Com slash r slash auditaldra slash comments slash 31 B9FM slash FAQ underscore auditaldra underscore bot slash version 2. 02522566 TL, DRS so far. Feedback, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit. Com slash message slash compose. To equals percent 23 auditaldr PMs and comments are monitored, constructive feedback is welcome. Top keywords, Kolsnikova carrot hashtag 1 opposition carrot hashtag 2 figure carrot hashtag 3 protest carrot hashtag 4 Belarus carrot hashtag 5. Here's how it appears in India today, https colon slash slash www. India today. In slash world slash story slash Belarusian protest leader Maria Kolsnikova detained by masked men tut by news portal 1719478-2020-09-07. Unidentified masked men detained prominent Belarusian protest leader Maria Kolsnikova in central Minsk on Monday morning and drove her off in a minivan, the Belarusian tut, by media outlet cited a witness as saying. Why was she unguarded? Can we get some pressure from international community please? How are things like this not getting EU attention? Fucking embargoes and offering asylum for people should be number one priority. Edit, everyone saying that Belarus is not EU, yes, I know, but to show disapproval, impose embargoes, 
etc. They don't have to be part of EU, sad and horrific. What the fuck, damn, that's so sad to hear the country's hope for a future is being silenced by fear, she was literally the movement in Belarus and I hope people continue to raise up and protest because sadly it's a well-known secret by now that anyone who fights the current leader will be dead. Snatched from the street in an unmarked vehicle. As we all know, this can only happen in authoritarian countries when the leadership does everything they can to stay in power, Jesus fucking Christ. This is appalling. These arseholes will do anything to hold on to power, we're looking at a new era of dictatorships and warfare. At the point where the illusion becomes too expensive to maintain, they will just take down the scenery, they will pull back the curtains, they will move the tables and chairs out of the way and you will see the brick wall at the back of the theater. Frank Zappa. I mean Lukashenko hasn't been shy about his ambitions for dictatorship. He has said there will be held no elections until the people of Belarus kill him. I say take it as a suggestion, rip. Every day I think blacklist is more real and real. It seems that all over the world fascists are emboldened and consolidating their power, violently striking at any and all opposition. I mean, you have one of the most advanced secret services at your disposal, courtesy of the USSR school, why can't you do it discreetly? There's a colossal lack of empathy being shown in these comments. A woman, a human being has been kidnapped in broad media daylight, because of her opinions. It's very likely that her life is at risk and people are focused on the pop culture references they can draw on. Fucking shameful. The article should also highlight that her whole senior team disappeared as well. Fuck any dictator, this is what will happen to anyone who opposes to a leader with their own person. I hope that the Belarusian people win this fight, and I hope that this brave woman and her mates are alive. Fuck dictators, fuck fascism. Never let this happen. Wow I just listened to an interview with her on NPR on Saturday. Freaking scary. Apparently she only ran because her husband was in jail and couldn't register. Democracy dies in darkness. Autocracy thrives in the light. Can we get rid of all the fuck Putins in relation to this Lyshenko was Putin before Putin was Putin, and was the inspiration for the current Russian autocracy? This is on Lyshenko and he should be held responsible as such. In another life I wish I was a skilled masked vigilante that could sniper these corrupt leaders would be so good. Probably not really possible tbh, but I can dream, I oppose the Belarusian reg dash. Deleted. Wow. I find interesting the fact that these things can happen in today word with no consequences whatsoever. Get ready for the poison. This has been happening in Russia under Putin for years. He simply has his opponents assassinated. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Bob Ross, this title could have been a lot shorter if Op just said she was kidnapped. Long experience shows us that this is what happens when you have secret police who are accountable only to the head of state, and a head of state who wants to be a dictator. People in other countries should take note. Can the UN or some global governing body nail countries to the wall that eliminate political nonviolent opposition in their own countries? This shit should be a crime against humanity when someone protests a government only to have their voice silenced like this. Severe punishments should follow. Look, the US isn't going to do anything, but can Germany and the EU actually effing do something? These are the things that happen when the commander-in-chief of the world's most powerful military and economy just loves authoritarian dictators. Trump is not morally outraged. He is jealous. How can you prove that you're the righteous leader when everyone who's opposed to you disappears? How is she the opposition, when she won the election? Most likely she'll reappear in Poland. KGB and guys utilize new method during this election, they just throw people out of the country, quite effective and nonviolent, in comparison to detention. We used to be able to criticize these things. But now it happens on our streets. How is there no video? Surveillance. Anything. This is terrifying and if the rest of the world does not smarten up this will begin happening in our own nations. Unidentified masked men. Oh come on, 
when are we going to stop pretending to not know who did it?